I'm Joni Petrie. Do you believe in astrology? Well, watch this. Bitcoin is going to have a huge shift. It's going to split. There's going to be an old Bitcoin and a new Bitcoin. Watch how things change here. If, the, if it drops, the price of Bitcoin drops considerably, which most people believe it will, it is time to invest. This is an opportunity. Most people are so afraid of this, but I guarantee you in a couple of years, you'll be really glad you did. Maybe not right away, a couple of years, give it a little time. Hey, you're gonna be really glad you did. Bitcoin near record highs, crossing 23,000 for the first time as institutional investors continue to pile in. So here's what I see. I definitely see that the media has been persuading us. And you know I've been talking about all the hidden secrets for so long, way before this WikiLeaks thing came out. There is definitely something that is hidden and something that is secret that is about to be revealed that could change the course of time and the course of these elections. Yes, we just have a few weeks before the elections and it definitely, it doesn't take an astrologer to say Hillary Clinton will be the next president. But there is something that is going to turn the tide. And let me reveal why and how I think that. Right now, a historic moment. Uh, we can now project the winner of the presidential race. CNN projects Donald Trump wins the presidency. So with this intense analysis, and there's even more details, but these are the main crucial points. My prediction is that Emmanuel Macron will be the next president of France. Centrist candidate Emmanuel Macron appearing with his wife, celebrating a decisive victory over the far right's Marine Le Pen, winning by a landslide margin of about 30 points. A huge but I get there's more to do with violent weather and floods and watch the hurricane season around the south in the United States in Florida and across the United States. There's major storms, tornadoes. Things will be very, very disruptive. Here's the latest update on Hurricane Irma. The winds are down from 175 to 165. It is lashing the Turks and Caicos Islands on the way to the southeast Bahamas. It's becoming more and more likely that this will be a direct impact and almost a worst case scenario for South Florida. We have Because when Mars goes into Virgo, we're going to have more health issues. It's going to be a more serious influenza, viruses. There can even be some kind of outbreak of a disease that we're plagued with. So please take caution, be aware of your health, and you will be grateful because of it, because you will have the strength and vitality while others could get the flu. And there's nothing worse than being sick. extending up through, again, the Middle East. The Middle East seems to be very affected. So we tonight with the U.S. and Iran on the brink and the president alerting Congress tonight, the U.S. will respond with force if Iran retaliates for the drone strike that killed top Iranian commander Qasem Soleimani. We're coming on the air with breaking news. The Pentagon confirming that Iran has launched a series of ballistic missiles targeting American forces in Iraq. And then on down through the center of China, extending out where Hong Kong is in the ocean region. So it covers really mainland of China. And a dangerous virus is spreading rapidly in China and U.S. officials are very worried that it could come here. China Another one that I think I could recommend because there is so much going on about electric cars and, el and electricity. Watch the stocks concerning the motor companies concerning electric cars. That's the new wave. So Tesla could be a good stock in the future. It's very expensive right now, but it's lower right now. I believe 
it's going to rise. We're watching shares of Tesla this morning, and frankly, when are we not? The stock is up 5% pre-market right now. That follows a 6.5% gain during yesterday's session. When you watch the news, it will seem like every week there is somebody that is iconic passing. And I do know some of them who they are, but I'm not going to mention anyone. Just remember, some of the most famous stars and musicians will pass this next three months. World-renowned chef, best-selling author, award-winning host of Parts Unknown, and our friend, Anthony Bourdain, has died. The last but today, the website that bears Kate Spade's name has this dark greeting for visitors, announcing the death of the company's founder. So this even tells me that the first week of February, while Mars is Gandanta, major, major things are heating up because Gandanta is extreme. And the last degrees of Scorpio are the, the sting of the scorpion. And actually it rules poisons and disease. And now we have all sorts of viruses coming up in the world. So this is going to take a lot of people out. February 17th, confirmed coronavirus cases in the U.S. increased to 15. The next One. day, Washington reports the first coronavirus-related death in the country. So this isn't a good time for him either in terms of health, healing, and fighting, and great difficulty. It's stunning news. The President of the United States now confirming to the world that he and the First Lady of the, of the United States have both tested positive for the coronavirus and they will quarantine. Yes, there is going to be something huge that will happen in 2020. And my prediction is it will be after the next solar eclipse, which is December 26, 2019. And that will preclude events that will happen in February around February 18th through the 21st of 2020, major, major events will happen. The coronavirus death toll rising. This as there are now more than 12,000 cases confirmed worldwide. Now by March 31st, Mars will conjunct Saturn. This will be at six degrees of Capricorn. You can expect delays, setbacks, but what's coming also at this time are major bailouts and economic stimulus packages, things that are going to empower the economy. Because we all know what the stock market's been doing, haven't I been telling everyone? The stock market is going to be like a roller coaster, up and down, up and down. Now that it is down, and I mean it is really down now. It is the time to invest. This is an opportunity. Realize there is so much money out there, so many billionaires. Guess what? When the stock market hits bottom, they invest, which makes it come back up again. It is still going to be going on a roller coaster, but take advantage. Those that took advantage in 2008 and 1987 when the stock market crashed, waited a couple of years, they're glad they did. This is an opportunity. The first quarter of 2020 ended today, and it was the worst first quarter ever on the Dow. I mean, we went through a depression. We should have seen a bunch of bankruptcies, but instead credit held these companies slash cost. And so, as you know, people like operating leverage because it helps perpetual future value. So I have some very exciting news. If you are interested in learning how to predict the future as I have, then get ready. I have a new semester for my University of Vedic Astrology starting January 10th. In my university, you will learn all the secrets of how I'm able to predict the future for individuals and the world. So go to my university website, which is universityofvedicastrology.com. And remember, the new start date starts January 10th of 2022.